Welcome back. As Europe's financial crisis persists, wealthy Russians are looking to put their money in safer investments offshore, and that's bringing them to New York City. Russia's richest people are relocating their cash from European tax havens like Cyprus to Manhattan's lucrative real estate market. The reason? They're in search of investment security and better value. Leeling Tan joins us live from New York. Leeling, what's behind this emerging trend? Two main things. First, for wealthy Russians, the push is on the uncertainty in a Europe embroiled in economic and financial turmoil. The pull, as you pointed out, is the investment security and the better value that New York City provides. And for Cypriot banks, Russians have, uh, have uh, accounted for the bulk of deposits there, but money has reportedly been flowing out of the country ahead of its banking crisis. And Manhattan, with its glamorous lifestyle and its robust real estate market, makes for a prime spot for them to park that cash. 15 Central Park West. The luxury condominium in midtown Manhattan is hot property for some of the world's wealthiest people. It's among trophy homes popular among the Russian rich, especially in the past few months as former tax haven Cyprus descended into financial turmoil. The move to New York real estate is because the real estate market continues to be strong in an economy, in a world economy that's very difficult. Uh, Cyprus, with its obvious problems, people want to make sure their money is safe and secure. So one of the places to put it is in real estate. Attorney David Newman represented the ex-wife of Russian fertilizer magnate Dmitry Rybolovlyev in their high-profile divorce. Rybolovlyev had famously acquired the penthouse at 15 Central Park for a whopping 88 million U.S. dollars and a sign of growing interest from Russia's richest people. A few blocks away and still under construction, another top-of-the-line luxury condominium. 157 is slated to be Manhattan's tallest residential building and has reportedly seen more than one billion U.S. dollars in sales. The property overlooking Central Park has also drawn huge interest from wealthy Russians. So as they pass through, rather than going to a hotel, they now have, in effect, their own little personal hotel. Um, and number two, it, there is an ego thing involved. You're talking about the very, very, very richest people in the world, and there's almost a competition going around. I want to have the most expensive apartment. I want to have the most expensive artwork. So there's a combination. So to some degree, it boils down to bragging rights from owning some of the hottest real estate in this city that never sleeps. And while these 88 to 90 million dollar units are making the headlines here, Industry insiders tell me that the real action is taking place in the five to ten million dollar range. And um, New York City is also set to offer better returns than any other Swiss bank. And of course, the big draw is the economic stability here. And let's just say you're in the market to buy a ten million dollar luxury condo. Well, you'll be happy to know that uh, Manhattan's real estate, although still pricey, is considered a bargain compared with uh, properties in London, Paris. Or Moscow. Back to you. Uh, I'm not in the market. I'm, that's a little pricey for me. But Lilling, uh, just briefly, there, certainly there's a competition for bragging rights for these trophy assets. But wealthy Russian investors, they're notoriously secretive about their investments, aren't they? Yes, they are very, uh, very secretive. And, you know, they move in really tight circles. So when it comes to bragging rights that exist within those circles, but outside of it, they keep their privacy very well guarded. And a lot of these transactions that we're hearing about, they're conducted through limited liability companies or trusts and uh, through arrangements that make uh, true ownership hard to determine from public records. Fascinating stuff. Lilling Tan, Live Force in New York, thanks so much.